That heat, of course, playing a major role in a number of calls today to emergency medicine experts, including several calls to Paul Brown Stadium, where a sold-out country music concert is underway right now. Our local 12, Sydney Benter, spent some time there. She's now live near Great American Ballpark with what the Reds are also doing to help keep fans a little cooler. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Liz. It is not nearly as oppressive as it was earlier today, but if you were out and about in the heat and humidity, the exhaustion probably setting in right now. Uh, it's not setting in, though, for Reds and country music fans who just just a little bit ago finished up their festivities tonight, despite the extreme heat today. It's as if Mother Nature opened the floodgates, letting out heat and humidity that's been held at bay by weeks of rainy weather. Love it. Not. <laughs> uh, did you realize it was going to be as hot as it is today? No, I did not. If you didn't know in advance, it hits you the second you step foot outside your door. Yep, the dog days of summer are back. Definitely get in and out, you know, cool off in the water, get water. They love to drink water, thankfully. <laughs> Emergency room doctor Tim Dake says keeping hydrated even when you're not thirsty is key when it's this hot. He says most heat-related health cases they see are minor, but heat stroke isn't something to take lightly. Because when you get to that end of the spectrum, you actually don't make any sweat because you're so dehydrated and loss of fluid issue. So that is a concern when you actually have stopped sweating. Dehydration kept first responders busy as tens of thousands packed into Paul Brown Stadium for a concert. After all, it's hard to stay cool when country stars are melting hearts. Luke, Luke Bryan and Lord Lord Georgia Line. <laughs> <laughs> so I wondered, was there ever a second when these fans considered ditching the sweltering stadium for a climate-controlled Saturday night? Oh, heck no. no we're Not for fans, me. So. <laughs> we're just so thrilled to be here. It's going to be an awesome concert, and we dress for the occasion, and we're just hoping to have a great time tonight. Well, Luke Bryan fans weren't the only ones braving the heat. The Reds fans were as well. Luckily for them, though, it was a night game. Tomorrow, not so lucky. They're going to be playing in the heat of the day. The Reds organization, though, is doing a few things to make it a little bit easier for fans. They set up cooling rooms with TVs inside so fans don't have to miss any of the action. There are also misting stations throughout the ballpark, and you can also get free sunscreen at first aid stations throughout the ballpark as well. Reporting live down at the bank, Sydney Venter, Local 12 News. Liz? And we're glad to hear it's cooling down a bit, but I do know earlier today uh, when you said you stepped outside, we all felt that way. Just that kind of mask sort of came over you. It just feels like you're hitting a wall of humidity. I can say that it is substantially cooler now, but it's still certainly very sticky out, Liz. All right, more of that tomorrow. We'll check back with you. Thanks, Sydney. And if you need help cooling down, St. Vincent de Paul says that it is out of air conditioning units right now, but they are collecting fans for the next distribution. That is scheduled to be on July the 29th.